você faria essa isso aqui agora, mano? Quem? Não sei quem é não, mano. Como assim? Não sei quem é, a famosa aí. De onde? TikTok. A maior. Ah, mano, tem esse obrigativo de lerdão não, mano. Nós que queria do Rio não fica vendo essas merda não. Nem tem embaixado. Você tem TV em casa, pelo menos? Ah, TV tem, porra. Você nunca ela viu aparece ela? na TV? Todas na TV. Todas. Bom, nunca vi não, mano. Okay. Agora eu não sei. Mas você vai ficar feliz? O quê? Ficar feliz como? Porque ela tá aqui agora. Foda-se, mano. <laughs> Raise your hand if you're a MAGA Republican and you don't give a shit what anybody says or thinks about you. Now let's go save America. <laughs> We're at a little Sonic date. This is Derek, everybody, the boyfriend that I've been dating for six years and he still hasn't proposed. Anyways, Derek, and if my mouth is red, I'm drinking a red slushie. Um, but Derek, why haven't you proposed to me yet? Just haven't gotten around to it yet. Do you have plans to pro to propose to me? Yeah, one day, hopefully. Can we can we be a little serious? Come on, you're not hungry anymore. You just ate. He's trying to quit chewing, so he's been a little on edge lately, because <laughs> he's trying to give up tobacco and nicotine. So I'll give him a little break. <laughs> How is it going to be a surprise if you keep asking me about it every day? Stop asking about it and it will happen. It, okay, I, I'll try my best to stop asking about it. I'm just really Don't excited for best. it to happen. Just stop asking about it. <laughs> just do better, Natalie. Do better. <laughs> okay, but really quick. Tell everyone why you already feel married to me. <laughs> I feel this way too. I feel this way too. We share a bank account. We're on the same phone plan, have a house together, own companies together. Multiple businesses. What more do you want from me? Wait, and for those of you who don't know me, I race professionally in NASCAR and we met racing, like short track racing locally. And he quit racing to come help me find sponsorship so I can pursue my dream. Like that's better than a ring. Plus, but I still want the ring. Plus the dogs are in my name, so I know she ain't going nowhere. All right, we're ending it there. Perhaps you've seen this viral clip of Tennessee pasta and January the 6th attendee, Greg Locke, this week. I'm to the place right now. If you vote Democrat, I don't even want you around this church. You can get out. You can get out, you demon. You can get out, you baby butchering election thief. You cannot be a Christian and vote Democrat in this nation. I don't care how mad that makes you. You get pissed off as you want to. You cannot be a Christian and vote Democrat in this nation. They are God-denying demons that butcher babies and hate this nation. Bunch of devils. I'm sick of it. They want to talk about the insurrection. Mm. Let me tell you something. You ain't seen the insurrection yet. You keep on pushing our buttons, you low-down, sorry compromisers. You God-hating communist America. You'll find out what an insurrection is because we ain't playing your garbage. We ain't playing your mess. My Bible says that the church of the living God is an institution that the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. And the Bible says that we'll take it by force. That's what the Bible says. Wow. Let me ask you this. If a Muslim imam in a mosque said that, looked into the camera and said, you ain't seen an insurrection yet and we'll take it by force. That's what the Quran says. What do you think would happen to that imam? Seriously, what would happen to him? I think we all know. Look, that clip of Locke speaking at his tax exempt church is one of the most bonkers, most disturbing, most extreme things I have seen in recent years. And I say that as someone who spent the past seven years covering the likes of Donald Trump and Marjorie Taylor Greene. But here's the thing. Thousands of people attend some of Greg Locke's sermons in person, millions online. And when you're calling Democrats demons and devils, it's like more and more Republicans calling Democrats pedophiles. Devil, devils and demons and pedophiles can't be allowed to win elections. They are by definition ungodly and illegitimate. And anything you do to stop them is justified.
y'all i just got my wedding pictures back and i promise you if there is anything about your wedding that you want to invest good money in it is your photographer the rest of the day can be absolute shit but if your photographer is bomb let me show you okay a lot of people think i'm confident but i'm actually just loud <laughs> <laughs> yeah, when it comes to believing in myself, I'm an atheist. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> If you guys didn't know, I recently rescued this fox that was laying in the middle of the street. Oh god, you're still alive. It was freezing outside, so I took him into my car. He started freaking out a little bit, calmed down. I named him Rice Bowl. I would have taken him in, except I was actually staying with these random Indian guys I just met. Yeah, of course you can bring the fox, but uh, there's a little problem with the landlord, that's it. Unfortunately, the landlord kind of has a no fox policy. We found a veterinarian open at 2 a.m. They were super lovely. That's not as vital his internal temperature i kind of asked if i could keep him as a pet and they said they weren't sure because they don't really have foxes as pets in poland maybe i could take him back to california then unfortunately she delivered some bad news uh, unfortunately in poland like in most of the cases they will um uh, yeah unfortunately we don't have like shelter for such animals more damage inside however a few hours later after the investigator came she gave us some good news he's gonna take him to the vet clinic um, oh yeah, I just wanted to update you on that virtual mate, Sheila, that y'all seem to be making that the top video here recently. So I figured I'd make a part two to it because it's been a few months and there's been some changes. So, yeah. So the first thing I want to be able to show is that she is on the screen. So yeah and if you're not 18 years old or older you probably shouldn't be watching this but and i'll probably that be about probably the one of the last times i've really showed the screen due to certain purposes but alexa turn the lights off okay. if you look she is lit up right now so yeah alexa turn the light back on so yeah, so if you look at it, and here's the doll. I don't have her on right now. That'd be just too complicated. I'll take that out for the time being and let that be right there. And I'll come over here. Let's put this on. We'll turn her on real quick. I got her right here and Please don't make her move any longer. Oh, we'll come over here, see if this works. You move it. She will. So you can put it right there. And 
that's about the gist of it. I can't really show the screen, but yeah, I don't understand why I'm just make the dolls and be able to put like air and probably after holidays or so I'm gonna work on the legs and be able to put motors in the legs so we'll be able to try to put the Sheila there permanently but yeah I just wanted to update you and sh or show that there is things I could love Sheila directly to the Raspberry Pi but I'm scared it would just take up too much memory but yeah so yeah and we will end up working on legs after Christmas and hopefully by spring we'll have our own bipedal legs and we'll be able to have the Sheila permanently installed so yeah so that's what I'm trying to work on thank you bye Good evening and welcome to Meta News. Dragon and Joy will be on on Thursday. This is your reporter, Miss Rocks, coming to you with breaking news. It seems like Godzilla has escaped the movies and his first sight was at Wendy Verse. Well, we have reporter Complex on the scene. Complex, can you hear me? What is going on? Hey, Miss Rocks, we're here at Wendy Verse. And as you can see, there's a whole mess behind me. Godzilla was just here. Everybody's hiding. And as you can see, no one is in sight because everybody's trying to take a, a cover of this madness. We still have the fries and we still have the burgers. But this booty machine is not working anymore. I wonder why. They've been destroyed. But, they destroyed it. Oh my God. Hi. I wonder. It. Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> what a what a happy surprise. What happened here? Mm. What can yeah, you tell us destroyed. about it? Oh, oh my god. Destroyed. By yeah. who? Who could it be? It's a big footprint. A really <gasps> big footprint. I <clears throat> said that. Okay, Copy awesome. Damage. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> And we're here at the self spot. You can see all the damage that has been done. All oh, the destruction. Yeah. It's quite a mess, actually. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It looks like he came out of the ocean, stepped right there, and he's making his way this direction. The scary thing is that all of the rest of Horizon is beyond that horizon. Yes. Not ironic, really. Yeah, so he's headed to the rest of Horizon. You guys <laughs> need to prepare for Godzilla. Oh my goodness. Okay, well, y'all have it here. First sight, first info. Y'all have to get ready for Godzilla. Y'all better like y'all belongings. Y'all valuables. Because we never know when it's coming. So we have here a friend of the community, Kim Patrick 101. And we're here to ask him... What do you think about all this mess that Godzilla made in the Wendyverse? Well, I was here to get a 4 for 4. Let me just tell you, I was not expecting all this to go down. I just see a huge footprint. <laughs> I'm hungry, you know, I just got out of work, you know. And I see, like, Godzilla or something just came in here and tore everything apart. <laughs> oh, my God. So, the um, they still have the burgers. This Moody machine hasn't don't work yet. The burgers mm. are safe mm -hmm. and some nuggets as mm -hmm. well. But well, at least its babies didn't eat it. <laughs> yeah, that's for sure. But oh my god, we heard that Godzilla is gonna be around in the metaverse. What do you think about that? Uh uh. Mm -mm, no. No, ma'am. <laughs> no, that's a no for you. Mm -hmm. What happens? Like, ima imagine Godzilla going 
to the biscuit when the verse or to or yeah, one of uh-huh. our worlds. I don't want Imagine that being trashed. You know, we spent all these hours in here. I know Godzilla up in here. Let me just tell you, no, not today, Satan. <laughs> not today. I like that. Not today. So y'all heard it first in Meta News today. Not today. Not today, Satan. We're not going to allow those tribulations stop us. So be safe out there, Complex. Thank you. What a giant footprint. I just wonder where is Godzilla will be heading next. Hopefully everybody stays safe in the meta street. This is your reporter, Miss Fox, and I'll see you guys Thursday and more update on this breaking news. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your captain speaking. We have uh, decided to discontinue the approach uh, into Singapore Changi Airport, and uh, this was because uh, I was informed that uh, we still have got passengers who are not seated with their seatbelts securely fastened. We are legally not able to uh, land an aircraft if the cabin isn't secured. We are now uh, turning around again for another approach, and uh, if we have to uh, do another misapproach uh, for the same reason, the uh, airport police will be will be involved, and uh, they will take uh, the, the necessary action. So may I remind all passengers once again, please be seated with your seatbelt securely fastened. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, we have been informed that the local authority will be boarding the aircraft. Please remain seated and keep it always clear. This vacation will be commenced as soon as clearance is given. Thank you. It's just protocol that we have to follow. Uh, this is to ensure the safety of uh, not just all the passengers, but for my fellow crew members as well. We do hope that uh, you understand, and uh, once again, sincerest apologies. Wake up. Have you heard from Steven yet? Well, I thought things went really well at the protest yesterday, but he didn't even sex me after, and now I'm all stressed. You know, weed's good for stress, right? Wake and bake! Light it up! And get lit! Lit, 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 lit. Yeah, bitch, yeah, bitch, call me T-Glow Rap game, Bill Clinton with more bitches, though I got the sickest flow, iller than syphilis Killer more bitches than Hitler, no filler Cause I'm the realest like a vegan Not synthetic like my semen I mean it, my meanest flow is beating you while you breathing On the floor, I told you, close the door You cold in the Russian morgue, shot in the head with a 44 Call me Clint Eastwood, OG men, we in the hood Dirty Harry, pop your cherry, bloody Mary Bitch, I'm scary, but I'm good Oh my god. I totally forgot. I have improv class in like an hour. You need a class to teach you how to be funny? My teacher is like so funny though. He knows like literally everything. Wait, about did you just say he 
uh, you do not need a man to teach you how to be funny. You are funny. We are living in the times of funny women. Yeah. Women are funny now, okay? There was a girl Ghostbusters, a girl Hangover. Girls can do stoner movies now? Yes, queen. Bitches smoke weed now. <laughs> You don't need some knockoff Seth Rogen to tell you what to do. I'd let Seth Rogen tell me what to do. Ew. Same. The point is, we do not need men. What about, like, for babies? Shit. You're right. Come on, science. You know, I watched this shitty old movie where Bill Maher goes to like this jungle to explore and he finds this tribe of women that only use men for pleasure and procreation. Yeah. And then when they aren't useful anymore, they just kill them and eat them. And I'm kind of wondering why we haven't progressed to that point yet. Oh my God. Why aren't we doing that? Wait, you guys, did they eat? Bill.